This is an oximeter and it measures the oxygen level in your blood and you can buy these relatively cheaply on Amazon and uh, you've probably seen these before uh, GPs have them, hospitals have them and um, so you can buy these yourself though and it would be handy to have one of these in case you do get the COVID-19 virus so to use it is very simple, you just switch it on and then you just put your finger in with a fingernail pointing upwards and then it will tell you what your oxygen levels are in your blood so mine is 98 and it's telling me my pulse is 76 now doctors have criteria for who um, they think needs um, treatment in hospitals and it's usually when your oxygen levels get below 94 but people who have COPD um, who are smokers or who normally have a low oxygen level um, the doctors don't usually follow that as a guidance if you have got COPD so um, if you have got COPD it's more important that you do get one of these anyway so you can monitor your own oxygen levels and then you can let your GP know if they change a lot or if you feel incredibly breathless. You can test your oxygen levels and just see what they are. So um, you can, so this um, it's called a finger probe oximeter. I'll put the link below where you can get them from. There's lots of different varieties. This is a fairly cheap version. And, um, and it'll just help to let you see what your oxygen levels are just in case you do get breathless because um, a lot of people don't realise how breathless they're getting and sometimes they end up in a and &E when they've got severe pneumonia and uh, if they had one of these it would have alerted them sooner um, so I think it's important that everybody should have one of these um, especially when you're ill with a chest infection or if you're elderly or if you have got one of the um, it, uh, like illnesses like asthma or if you've got any kind of other abnormality with your breathing or if you're just particularly worried about getting the virus and then not realising how poorly you might get it's best to have one of these anyway because for the sake of £20 or something like that they are it's worth having now you can have it displayed in different ways you can have it displayed like that so you can see it or you, if you press this button here it changes it so it's um, displayed to someone else who could be reading it like from the other end of the table or whatever or you could have it this way which shows you like a rhythm at the bottom and then you'll be able to see if your rhythm's regular or not as well or you can have it if I just keep hitting the button there you can have it so it's that way on like long ways on as well so you can see it better if you've got your hands in front of you like that so you can choose which way you want it if you get onto a funny screen you just keep hitting the button until you get back to where you want to be So this is the oxygen oximeter um, probe. So here's the chart of what's normal and what's not normal with oxygen saturations. So if it's more than 95% or equal to 95% it's normal in healthy individuals if it's between 88 and 92 and you have got COPD your doctor has told you you've got COPD which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease then that is normal for people with COPD but 
if it's less than 95 and you haven't got COPD if it's between 85 to 94 then that is a cause for concern and if it's less than 85 that's a severe cause for concern so remember those charts if it's less than 95 you need to go to the hospital if it's between 88 and 92 and you've got COPD you don't need to go to the hospital but you can contact your doctor because if you're if you have got COPD and your normal saturations is around 94 or something like that and it suddenly drops to 88 then you still need to seek advice about that so knowing what your normal is is important but if you haven't got COPD and your oxygen levels are less than 95 you should go to the hospital and um, and if it's very low then it's you need to get there as quick as you possibly can the SATS probes are very good but if you're cold it's highly likely they're not going to work so you need to get your hands warmed up somehow if that's not possible try the probe on your earlobe and get someone else to read it or look in the mirror and if that's not possible put the probe on your toes yes it will work on your toes if the, your feet are warm sometimes your feet are warmer than your hands because you've had socks and shoes on so um, try the probe on your toes if it's not working on your fingers otherwise get yourself warmed up and then have another go thank you for watching this video stay safe and i'll speak to you next time